I hope you are ready because here's a two and one video. Asian style beef and broccoli and tofu and broccoli. So come on and watch. Okay, so right here I have my strips of beef and I also have my tofu that has been soaking for about a good 10 minutes. I have my coconut oil and sesame seed oil, my washed broccoli, my washed bean sprouts. I have some sugar, a two inch piece of ginger, have soy sauce, little crushed red pepper flakes, and I also have my onion powder. I have a little bit of cornstarch here that's going to be used for my beef, and then I also have my minced garlic that is sitting in the little glass bowl and i'm also going to use some other ingredients that you'll see later on in the video so what i did is i have my beef marinating in onion powder crushed red pepper flakes and some soy sauce and i had it marinating for about a good 10 minutes so now i'm about to add my cornstarch and I'm just going to give this a quick mix and put it to the side and let it rest while my beef is resting I'm about to grate up my ginger and I'm going to grate up this whole little block here because it's going to be used for my tofu and for my beef now I just add a little bit of the minced ginger in there and I give that a toss and sit to the side now I'm going to cut my tofu as I'm doing here it's about a good half inch pieces you could cut them however you like and in a bowl I'm placing my soy sauce on top of my tofu because tofu really don't have much of a flavor you have to add the flavors to it and because this is replacing our meat we're going to season this as much as possible so I have my to my my soy sauce and I just added my ginger and now I'm adding my minced garlic and I'm just going to mix this all together using clean hands and kind of make sure that all parts of the tofu is well coated with the sauce of the soy sauce and the garlic and the ginger now I'm got a little bit of heat by adding some of my crushed red pepper flakes you can omit this option just add a little bit of black pepper but we kind of like spice in our family so we're adding a few dashes of crushed red pepper flakes and give it a quick toss now I've had my pots heating up and I'm going to add my sesame seed oil to it remember this is a concentrated oil so you only need a little bit and I'm also going to get my coconut oil that's going to add a little bit of a nice flavor to it and then just add a little bit to my hot pot and this helps the pot and the meat to cook really nice and the cornstarch is going to help all the seasonings and stuff adhere to it while it cooks so now we pour our beef strips into our pot. If you have a wok, that'll be even better. But I'm just using my pot. You can use what you have, whatever is available. And I just let that cook a little bit, give it a little bit of a stir. And on the back burner, I have my pot heating because I'm going to add my tofu there. So, I realized that my pot was a little bit hotter than it was supposed to be. So, I lowered my temperature down and I added some of the same oils like I did for my beef. My sesame oil and a little bit of my coconut oil. See, it started to smoke. That means that my pot was a little hot. But it did lower the temperature like I said earlier. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my tofu because I want my tofu to get like a little bit of a brown crust on it and that way it'll help lock in the flavors that I use to season the tofu I'm gonna spread it out just as much as possible so that all the pieces of the tofu can touch the oil so they can't get brown and then I just cover it up now I'm going to give my beef a quick stir, and you could cook your beef accordingly. If you like it rare, medium rare, well, or medium well. I like mine well, so I'm going to let mine cook a little bit longer. But I'm just giving them a quick stir for now. 
Then I cover both of the pots and I kind of let them just sit to the side for about a good three minutes each. Cha, cha, cha. As you can see, my tofu has got its little crust like I was wanting it to. And I just kind of give them all a little flip and try to make sure that both sides of the tofu is nice and brown. Now for the sauce, I'm using my Asian toasted sesame salad dressing, which is not common, probably used for the dish, but this gives it a really nice flavor. And I'm going to add a few dashes of soy sauce to that. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of water. And it's going to help dilute it some, but it's going to give it a really nice um, flavor. And it's going to kind of be like my gravy replacement. And I give that a little bit of a stir. And then I add half of the sauce inside my beef portion. And now I got to add the rest of the sauce inside my portion with the tofu. And I forgot to mention that I did add my washed broccoli to both pots. And for the tofu pot, I add my washed bean sprouts just to give it some extra little texture. And I give them both pots a quick toss and like I said that little sauce that I made is going to be kind of like the gravy for it so I mix it around real good to make sure everything is incorporated it smells so good in there especially with the fresh ginger fresh ginger is always better if you have powdered ginger you can use that powdered ginger Give the beef a quick toss. And now I add my teriyaki sauce. Now with this step, you could also add that to the toasted sesame dressing that I had prepared earlier with the soy sauce and the water. But this was just a step that I did separately. But you can mix all your liquids together and it's not going to cause any harm to the dish. It's not going to make it taste any different. But it's just going to add extra flavors to these dishes. And I'm giving it a quick stir. And the final ingredient that's going to be added to these pots is a little coconut milk. This is unsweetened coconut milk. And I'm using about a fourth of a cup. But I'm going to add an eighth of it to one pot and an eighth to the other pot. And then I'm going to let the heat from the burner finish cooking it because I turned both burners off and I just let it sit and while those pots are sitting you want to have your rice already cooked and heated because it is going to be ready to plate this and you're going to really love this dish for those who are vegetarians this tofu and broccoli recipe is really really good and for those who are carnivores yes the beef and broccoli is just as tasty now I plated both of these dishes on one bed of rice because my son and I happen to have shared this plate but like I said both dishes are very very tasty and it is so good so, if you like these recipes, I mean really, really like what you see, then please go to my Facebook page, Delicious Dishes and Desserts 9708, and it has the full recipe located there. And if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And also, share it with your friends and family. I really enjoy doing these videos, so continue to watch them and share them with anyone. Thank you for watching and have a great day.